through, took the lead in the slipper. Gay Dollars months ago, and Piero won it from Switzerland and Samarini. On the Breeders' Plate back in October, she said this horse will win the Golden Slipper. The Coolmore Australia draft at the English Easter yearling sale is always elite, but this year, more than any other, the focus of the world will be on one yearling, the daughter of champion Mare Winks by former champion two-year-old Piero. She's right behind me here in the Coolmore yearling barn, and we can't wait to show off the most exciting yearling to be sold anywhere this year around the world, daughter of a four-time Cox Plate winner. Tom, it is a real highlight this year. Always a highlight being here at Coolmore, of course, but a real highlight to have this daughter of Winx, of course, by Piero, your own stallion. But what a champion she was. And it must give you all a buzz to present this beautiful filly. Yeah, Winx herself, obviously, was a source of great pride for everyone here at Coolmore. She was foaled here, nurtured here, and sold through a Coolmore consignment and went on to be one of the greatest of all time. Uh, to sell her first yearling filly at a sale, uh, and offer her on behalf of her connections is, is a great honour for everyone here uh, and it's, it's not taken lightly of course but also for her to be by Piero and also be such, a, such an outstanding physical specimen herself um, it makes it ex extra special so we really look forward to following her through and presenting her to the market and we're sure that she'll, she'll get international attention. And the stallions here, of course, justify. We've seen Stormboy, an outstanding two-year-old. And also, so you think, he's a two-time runner-up champion Australian sire. These established stallions doing so well for Coolmore. Justify first. Obviously, he's, he's only just getting going in his stallion career. Yeah, and he's done it all over the world. So you think is a horse that is just so consistent. He's done it for many years now. And of course, we're selling the first of the Wooden Bassets here in the Southern Hemisphere, based here at Coolmore. We start with a Wooden Basset. This is a Colt Lot 360 from a beautiful mare, Tulip. As we said, the first of the Southern Hemisphere Wooden Bassets. The Dam by Piero, she won the Magic Knight, and the Typhoon Tracy Stakes. And again, it's just a really deep pedigree, isn't it? Yeah, it's a good pedigree, uh, and it's one that we're very familiar with here at Coolmore. Tulip's mother, Musi Dora, has been a great producer. Tulip herself was one of the first that burst on the scene for Piero in his first crop. Uh, she was placed in a golden slipper and actually ran fifth in the Everest. She was a high-class mare in her own right. This particular colt has always been a standout amongst the Wooden Bassets. We sent a lot of good mares to him in his first season, but he's always been up there with one of the best colts. Uh, despite the fact that he's a bit of a later foal, you could still see him getting up and going early. He's got a great barrel. A good shoulder, he moves along particularly well, a great hip and hind quarter and he's all quality. So you can see elements of both Tulip and Wooden Bassett in him. He's a particularly nice colt. Next is lot 474 by Justify out of Crystal Fountain. Uh, of course, the dam is by Stravinsky. She's a five-time winner, multiple stakes place getter, and a three-quarter sister to Jewel Oaks winner in Serenade Rose. A beautiful, beautiful colt, this one. Yeah, he's a lovely colt. Uh, as you say, he's a, he's a justifier, so he's going to be on Enfron's list, but he's a real flashy colt. Great depth to him, big hip and hind quarter, he moves particularly well, but he's always been a nice colt. He's always been up there with the best justifiers on the farm. From a deep family, a stakes performing Stravinsky mare, we all know what a great broodmare size Stravinsky is, so uh, we expect him to be very well received. Lot 485 by King's Legacy from Debate, the first season sire by Redoute's Choice, who won the sires, the Champagne. Dams by So You Think, he's already dam sire of a Golden Slipper winner, Fireburn, and Debate's a winning half sister to Scalacci Stakes winner, Unpretentious. I love this cult, there's so much Redoute's Choice about, about him, isn't there? He's just got a lovely swagger, he's a powerful lad too, isn't he? Yeah, he's his sire's son. King's Legacy himself is a beautiful horse. But this particular cold out of debate, as you say, he's got a big, deep girth, beautiful mover, he's all quality. Uh, he's just a lovely horse. There's nothing wrong with him. He's correct. He's been straightforward all the way along. He's always been a highly rated King's Legacy. From a family that has resonated well with Redoute's Choice and Redoute's Choice line size in the past, the mother's a, a half-sister to Unpretentious, who was a, a top-class sprinter by Stratum. So we think he's, he's a great chance. 
we think he's going to present really well there at Inglis and uh, he won't be out of place. Well, this Coolmore draft, of course, is no one-trick pony. There's also a yearling from an outstanding race mare, other than Winks, and that is the Colt from Sunlight. We know, of course, she was uh, herself bought by Tom Magnier as a broodmare for $4.2 million, a three-time Group 1 winning sprinter. Um, this is by Wooden Bassett, this, uh, this Colt. The first foal of Sunlight by Justify was a $1.4 million yearling now called D Dawn Service, who's had a couple of trials for Gay and Adrian. And this is just an outstanding standing individual isn't it he's just all power and i just love you see so much of sunlight and so much of wooden bassett he's got so much presence about him and apart from the fact that he's he's by wooden bassett out of out of a champion mare like sunlight he's actually just a beautiful colt he's got a great color uh, great skin he's he's glowing at the moment he's a beautiful mover so regardless of the fact that he's out of a champion he'd just he'd be a lovely colt if he was if he was out of anything it's great to be able to offer quality individuals out of mares such as Sunlight, uh, Coolmore and, and our partners in mares such as these have, have invested a lot of money over the last few years and it's great for them to be rewarded with individuals as good as this colt. Uh, we expect him to sell very well obviously as he should, he's, he's by one of, the, one of the best stallions in the world, um, first crop here in Australia and he's up there with the best individuals we'll offer at a sale this year so uh, we expect him to be extremely well found. And next is lot 133. This is a filly, again, another justify from Mary Ann. Uh, she's been a top group producer. Uh, this is a half-sister to the Tullock Stakes winner in Yaletown. Another justify with the McClure family's Morning Rise stud brand, just like Storm Boy. They've been great supporters of justify all the way, along with Coolmore. So it's great for them to be able to produce a high-class filly such as this one to the market. The first foal out of the mail is a Group 2 winning three-year-old in Yaletown for Gay Waterhouse and Adrian Bott. The full sister is in training with the Snowdens and Justify's just gone to another level since last year's sale. Like he, we haven't seen a stallion like him throughout the world in a long time. Any yearling to be presented by, by Justify is going to be on everyone's list, but um, this is a particularly nice filly with great residual value and we're excited to present her at the sale. And building up to the last yearling here at Coolmore for this preview segment, but certainly not the least, this is the outstanding Winx filly. Of course, the first foal to be going to a yearling sale. It's an absolute piece of history. 37 wins. She had four-time Australian Horse of the Year, the fourth Cox Plates, three Queen Elizabeths, Doncaster, Epsom, George Ryder, Chipping Norton four times. This filly is a piece of history being offered for sale. And by Piero, a sire of sires. We've seen Pierrata with the, one of the season's top two-year-olds in Coleman. Just everything going for her. But she's just a delightful filly, isn't she? Yeah, she's a very rare offering. Uh, fillies like this don't get offered to the market very often. Winx, as you say, is the greatest horse that we've ever seen here in Australia for a long time, if not ever. For us at Coolmore, she's a source of great pride. She came from this farm and to offer her first foal at auction is very special. To do it on behalf of a, a great ownership group, this particular filly means a lot to a lot of the people that have worked with her all the way along. Patty Sheen, who followed her down, and Will O'Connor, who, who's our yearling manager, they've all played a very significant part in getting her to this stage. But all that aside, she's just a beautiful filly by Piero, who's capable of getting top-class racehorses, fillies at various distances. She is a versatile stallion, capable of getting top-class milers and, and 2,000 metre horses, as evidenced by Acadia Queen. And beyond that, he's established himself, although it's early days, into a very high-class broodmare size. So the, the residual value that a filly like that holds is extremely significant. But we know that people are going there to buy a racehorse at this yearling sale and, and you won't be disappointed when you come and see the Piero filly out of Wings because she's a, she's a beautiful individual. Uh, she's got great scope, a great way of going, a beautiful temperament, a great head and eye. Uh, she's just pretty much flawless. So despite the fact that she's out of one of the greatest of all time, she's a, she's a beautiful physical as well. So we're really looking forward to getting there and um, we're really looking forward to following her career for a long time. And this sale, of course, we know the history behind Inglis Easter. We know the champions that come from it. We know, you know, from a Coolmore point of view, it's, it's such an important sale every year. And everything sort of draws to a peak for Inglis Easter, doesn't it? The Inglis Easter sale and the week leading up to it is one of the most important weeks of the year for us. Obviously, this year it takes on a, a little bit of extra importance given the fact that we're offering yearlings out of the likes of Winx and Sunlight. And that's a reflection on 
on the importance that we place on this sale to offer the progeny of mares of that calibre. Three and a half years ago, we, we sit down and go through mating plans for some of these top end mares. That is with the view of getting high class offerings that we can take to English Easter in April. So a lot of work goes on to get them to this point and we can't wait to get to Riverside and offer them to the market.